Okay. Can I can I not share this screen? Can I just have my face there? There you go. Excellent. I want to welcome all of you freshmen to our department. Normally this would be done in one of our amazing um, classrooms and one of our new buildings. And um, I just want to welcome you to our to our department. We have a number of faculty who are going to share with you what they're doing in their labs right now, even during this pandemic. I'm Dr. Kelly Young. I'm a reproductive biologist and I'm a super strong advocate for undergraduate research. The most important part I think in, in the Repro Lab or in any lab is what happens when you start working in our labs in the bio department. And that's because your experience goes so far beyond just answering these research questions. You're gonna start applying what you're learning in class, just like what Dr. Underwood said. The things you're learning in class will be things that you get to do with your own hands in lab. It's the kind of research we want you guys to be a part of. Uh, it is how we do our business. So two of the authors, Will Hinckley and Jaime Cordova, uh, were undergraduates in my lab. They're now in PhD programs. There are thousands of species of marine invertebrates that are very common on our shores uh, where we know next to nothing about their biology. So my students and I often do projects just um, trying to understand how this species reproduces or how this species crawl. Uh, I'm originally from Taiwan, uh, um, so you can easily tell my accent. Okay, so don't don't get fooled by my accent to to lose your passion and interest in science. Okay, um, but also tell you, if my accent could get to the stem, you can too. Okay, to be able to tell, I am also not a native Californian. Um, I'm from the UK, which is where I did my undergraduate and PhD. Um, but then I came to UCI just up the road for a postdoc and decided, you know, why, why would you ever leave California? So the good thing about science is you can move or you can stay. You will see life differently in the sense that your life as a student will be different. You will see your faculty, your professors in a different way. Your relationship to them will be in a different way. And at the end of the day, it's like for the first time, you won't be learning things by faith, you know? You will be doing them. Next, I have a student who's actually doing a COVID-related project. We're looking at flu deaths state by state, which you would expect to be associated with the number of COVID deaths we end up with, because although the diseases are quite different, they're spread in very similar ways. And the idea will be to kind of when this whole thing is done, to see which steps different states took to see whether that caused them to have fewer or more COVID deaths than you would expect. I spent a lot of time with with, with uh, dead coyote heads in the lab, um, di dissecting them, working on their muscles, 3D scanning, measuring their skull shapes, all that kind of stuff. Fun times in my lab. It smells like skunks in there too, so. I'm Dr. Chris Lowe. I run the Sharp Lab at Cal State Long Beach. I grew up on the East Coast and I was the first in my family to ever go to college. Um, I told my parents that I thought I wanted to be a marine biologist and they said, well, we don't know what that is, but that sounds like a cool job. Will anybody pay you to do that? And I said, well, I don't know, but I don't want to try it anyway. Um, it was people along the way that I met, professors that I had in my undergrad program that really kind of inspired me. One of the big reasons that we're here at Cal State um, is to provide students with this amazing opportunity to do research. And it really allows you as the student to connect with biology. And I know, I know probably a lot of you, you might be here, you're thinking, well, I'm gonna go off to med school or I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the PA thing. Um, but I, I ask of you to be open to new things.